Thanks. Well, you know what? Many people feel like, you know, February is such a long month, even though it is one of the shortest months out there. You know, they're sick of uh, maybe not following through with their New Year's resolutions, things like that. So here to talk about overcoming the February blues, we have Christine Umel and Dr. Annette Love from the Well Care Group. Welcome, ladies. Hi. I'm excited yes. about this. I was reading kind of a list of things and I was like, yep, yep, yep. They seem to all apply uh, and they make sense. And one of them was kind of like because we live in a place that has really nice weather, so mm -hmm. I feel like we don't get probably as, as depressed, but we do talk about everyone else's weather all the time. Like there's another winter storm on the East Coast and that can kind of apparently get you down. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> Dana, depression is one of the most common mental health conditions in the U.S. Mm -hmm. Millions of people suffer from depression year after year. Um, you may have relatives who are in other states who are snowed in. I'm from Chicago, mm -hmm. so my mother, my sister, my dad, everybody's snowed in, Right. 10 degrees outside. It becomes depressing for many people. <laughs> it does. You call, how's the weather? Well, we can't go to blah, blah, blah. We've got to stay in, even though it's dad's birthday and things like that. So exactly. you're right. Exactly. I feel bad about that sometimes. All right, well, let's talk about Valentine's Day just passed yesterday. And a lot of people, you know, really aren't into it because they don't have a significant other. Can it depress you? Absolutely. And one of the things I like to make sure people understand is what are the symptoms. Mm -hmm. So if you woke up yesterday and you said, you know what, I don't want to get out of bed. Um, or if you've noticed over time, you're eating less, you're eating more, you're sleeping less, you're sleeping more, mm -hmm. um, not interested in the activities that you're normally interested in. Those are some of the signs that mm -hmm. maybe the depression or the yeah. symptoms of depression are getting a little heightened. Right. That makes yeah. sense. And then the days are shorter. I know sometimes like if I want to go out and work out or do something like take a little nap and then I go I'm like, oh, it's dark out. I really have to get myself motivated. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, I mean, <laughs> when you go to work, it's Thursday, you leave work, it's night and uh -huh. you feel like your whole day is gone and you right. go home. So sometimes that can make you down. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay. Well, what about um, everyone around you being sick? So many people have the flu, they have colds and that can kind of depress you a little bit. Of course. And you might be worried if you're anything like me, I have two small ones at home. Mm -hmm. You don't want the cooties to come home with you. No. Um, we work in the communities day after day, and so it can be fearful that mm -hmm. you're going to get sick as well, especially if you already have a pre-existing yes. condition. Yes. I've got my antibacterial in my bag, and yes. I'm using it all the time because, you know, don't want to spread it. And then you get frustrated right. with people who show up to work and are sick, and they're coughing, and you're like, don't give that to me, you know? Exactly. <laughs> all right, so what are some of the things? I mean, we talk about depression. I'm using the word sometimes in some situations very lightly, like it's depressing, but it is a serious problem. And right. where can we go and get help? So the first thing I always mention is do not isolate. Mm -hmm. if, if you're not ready to connect to a behavioral health provider such as ourselves, well care services, mm -hmm. then connect with a community partner, your local church, speak out with your friends, your family, but don't isolate. That's the one thing I recommend never to do. Mm -hmm. But well care. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can find our information at thewellcarecroup.com. Okay. We're located on 5412 Boulder Highway on Tropicana and Boulder. Okay, thank you guys so much for coming on and talk about this. It's something something you might not think about, but we kind of get need to get through February, get to March, April, and then and then we'll get maybe a little bit better mood. <laughs> get rid of that seasonal disorder. Thanks so much, thank guys. You for thank you. Us. Stay with us. We're back after this.